Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 6, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And we've been making our way through the Pergoro Station. We start, we finally got our access to our first uh, Force Powers. And now we're about to go uh, hunt down whatever's on the station before we wander too far into this, past the door that we really ought to open. Wasted a couple of things, which is sad, but learn, learn hopefully. All right, so what's the Pergoro Safety Hollow Orientation? Is this thing on? All right, all hands, especially you, Corder, listen up, because I'm not going to say this again. The next one of you Juma heads to try and smuggle a blaster, or so help me, any sort of military-grade frag weapons into my facility is going to take a long walk out the airlock. Why? Because in case you forgot, Paragian fuel explodes at high temperatures. That's what blasted that chunk out of Paragus 2 and created this asteroid field. So if I catch any of you with anything other than sonic charges or mining lasers, I'll burn you and your contract. Security out. Okay, that's actually useful information. That's really useful information. We do not want to blow things up. All right, what's the accident report logs? And according yeah. to one of the miners, it was because one of the sonic charges went off prematurely. And like before, it was one set by a mining droid. The three idiots were grouped so close to the charge, it might as well have been a grenade going off. The blast turned their bones to dust. The blast wrecked Ooh. the internal components of the droid that set the charge, though, so we can't even dissect it to see what happened. <sighs> I don't like what's going on here. Ever since that Jedi showed up, things are getting worse. It's not just Corda and his miners, or the fights, but now the droids are acting crazy. <sighs> if we don't find what's causing this, or who, this facility is going to be space dust by the time the next Helos freighter arrives. Oh. All right, what about the maintenance logs? So, you're in maintenance. Then maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I could just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You well, better give me fair. some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir, these droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. Oh, seriously. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? That's not... What about the miners in Med Bay? Dude. It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the exchange. So I want oh, you to find out how these someone. droids are being sabotaged. That'll tell me who's trying to clear a path to get that Jedi off the facility and stop him. In the meantime, make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm going to need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. <laughs> all right. Um, so we got the administration console, security storage room, and main console functions. All right, so what's got I that? installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case oh. someone locks me out of the administration console. As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding cell door. It'll make sure it can only be opened if all droids in the level are shut down. I doubt Corda or any of his men have the skill to pull off something like this, but I'm not taking any chances while we're What's sitting in the middle of this paranoia? asteroid minefield. Whoever's responsible won't be able to have the droids rescue him after I lock him up. Nothing will cut through that door. Mm. He'll be trapped. Okay. I secured the stealth field generator inside one of the nope, foot lockers nope, in the that. security storage room. If I have the specs right, the interface field should be effective against the droid sensors. All I need to do is equip the belt and some skill with stealth in order to use it. Yeah, I didn't put any points in that. As long as I don't get too close to the droids, they shouldn't detect me. If any more droids start malfunctioning, the belt should buy me enough time to get to the override switch I set up in the communications blister console. I'd rather shut them down than destroy them. Is there a way to download the maps? I want to find out how these droids I are being really sabotaged. Like the map. Maybe even turn them against whoever's sabotaging them. Alright, um... Was that the security storage room inventory? Yeah. 
Security records. All right, access remote camera controls. So the main security office is where I'm at. The security storage room has already been cleared. The communications blister looks clear. Holding cells. Oh, okay, good. There's somebody in the holding cell. Emergency hatch to the mining tunnels that I haven't opened yet. Oh, I got nothing I can open with. Okay. Just to check. Nope. Okay. But still... Okay, so I'm probably going to have to wander all the way over to the... Uh, to the main console. Oh, hello. Yeah. What else we got? I heard more than one of you guys. Oh, no loot? Nope. Let's uh, flurry you. I probably should actually be power attacking you. Alright, behind me? Or around the corner? Yeah. Let's do this guy first. Okay, that was quick. Now we should be able to head back. No? Where's he at? <laughs> Did I lose him with that merry-go-round? Alright. Time to do some searching. Alright, so there's the blister with the consoles. There's nothing at that station. That's a hallway I've not yet walked down. Alright, here's my starting point. Time to search. Nope, nothing over here in the consoles. Nothing over here in the... Oh! I thought I got you! Fine! Oh, no! There's more than one of you. Hmm. Nothing here. I want to get in here. Ah. Uh, beyond this door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. Okay. But you have nothing helpful. to fear from this one. And he might yet prove useful. Well, good to know. I'd love to open the door, but there's that security uh. field there. Alright, anything over on this side? Nope. Did I go the wrong way around? Alright, so before I start heading up any of those doors, or that door, one of these has got to be the administration computer. Alright. Enter code to cancel lockdown. Look for the control override switch. Ah, yeah, there it is. Let's activate it. That's it? That's, uh, anticlimactic. I was expecting more. Alright, what's in the emergency supplies? Clothes? I could use some, uh, well, med pack's nice too. Not gonna complain, by the way. Okay, 43, 43 vitality. I'm, I'm still full health. The droid still has power, but it's no longer receiving a signal from the droid central controller. Um, I don't want to detonate it. I don't want to scavenge it yet. Let's uh, examine the behavior core. It looks as if some recent modifications have been made to the vocabulator. Alright. Check the last received commands. It looks as if their mining protocols have been set to mine any organics and non-authorized droids in the facility. Oh. 
All right, so scavenge or set to defend organics. Um, right now I've been able to handle everything that's been coming at us, so let's go ahead and scavenge. All right, so I can detonate or examine. Okay. All right, there we go. So we got some items and it should be running around trying to help us now. Hey, little buddy. What else we got? Clothes? No, I'm head back. Like, they don't have to be fancy robes. I just, I would like something. Do I keep exploring, or do I help home skillet? Having more hands would probably be helpful. So let's go ahead and uh, open up the door and see if we can expand our party out a little bit. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? Uh, who are you? You got a name? Care to explain? What is this place? The facilities deserted. What happened? Yeah, let's go with the facilities you mean before deserted. before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets oh. better. See... Some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big huh. explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. Uh, there's a bounty? I don't know much about it. Maybe the exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. Hmm. What happened? The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows? Uh. The stories I heard were of the Sith, not the Jedi, the Mandalorian Wars. Or rumors of war. Eh, let's go with the second one. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh yeah, that was the first game. The whole one. <laughs> uh, tell me what happened next. Revan and Malak couldn't care less. I've heard enough. Uh, let's just say I've been away. Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. Alright, um... I was led to believe that Revan saved the Jedi. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. <laughs> you know, women. Uh... I had heard Revan's redemption involved her stopping Malak. If I remember right, canonically, Revan is a man. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. <laughs> Alright. Enough history. I have some more questions. Look, All right. no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Stop playing dumb. Don't you know what happened? No, I'll just go with that. I don't know. can't all be gone. But if they are... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. All right. 
Alright, um... Seems you're locked up, I don't know. How can you help? Let's try the Persuade. This facility isn't yeah. a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field, and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship, and then we fly out of here. Alright. I'll switch off the cage, but if you try to run, I'll cut you down. <laughs> I'll return, but for now you're staying put. Alright, I'll let you out. Alright, let's try the I trust you, and we'll work together. We'll see if we can butter Great. up. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Alright, let's go. Ooh. Well, you get a chance to equip them with a blaster? Alright, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts <laughs> no, are constantly being updated, so it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Thing is, okay. you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure Pazak. The console's ours. <laughs> now all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and hey! And techity tech. Um, sounds like you're about to tell me something the I don't want to hear. The system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. <laughs> you can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. Oh. That wouldn't be standard now, procedure. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight. Leave us Ooh, here. I just Trapped. noticed what that meant. Because it said repair, that must be an option because my repair skill is high. So you have skill-based... Uh, extra options in the community in your uh, conversations that is a nice addition uh, now nah, there's got to be way in the lockdown it. all we have is communications back for all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us can we contact well, the we miners try but if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably kill you why not call them and chat oh, i don't think a friendly call that. is going to wake them up Maybe there's something that's logged. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Okay. Oh, good. We did get some light side points. All right. Check the administration logs. Tracked at the freighter in. Was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical and the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the oh, protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship, the Harbinger, when it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's gonna mean true. Nope. Oh. Okay. And the next most recent one? The bodies and or cargo. next further one? matches the protocol droid's story. The T3 droid had seized up. So we left it in storage and standby oh. mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition okay. sensors. And to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, I bet that, hopefully we that, get that, I bet that's HK. <laughs> and that's what's been going on. Our assassin droid who seized up our protocol droid. Or who seized up our uh, T3 unit. Yeah, I bet that's it. Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out and the miners aren't sure what to do with him. Corda's mining crew wanted us to collect the credits for the bounty the exchange has on Jedi, but I <laughs> put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will still know a word from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. Yeah. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners nah. were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation nah. tunnels nearly caused Thought. the whole facility to blow. Alright, so those are our logs. Let's go to the comm system. No response. Hangar bay. Soap. A series of low-pitched whistles and beeps, as if there's a utility droid. Can you read me? Hmm, who's that? Are you operational? 
sure. Alright, can you unlock the turbo loose? Discount R2. Uh, <laughs> there must be emergency hatches. Right? Yes, no? Uh, I wish I knew what the risk was, but apparently there's a risk. Alright, let's risk it. Probably should have saved first. Journal entry added. Okay, what is my journal entry? Rescue and on junior. You're trapped on the admin level. Oh, okay, so there's our T3. Been out of touch with the class events since the Mandalorian Wars. Yikes. You try to discover what's happened, recover the Ebon Hawk, and more of that. Is this. All right, let's get that double blaster action going. Um, sure. Ooh. That's, okay, so he's got access to all the party stuff. Yeah, let's bump that computer use. Okay. Good. What else we got? Chemicals, components, and sonic grenades. Oh my. What's the broken droid got? A repair kit? Okay. So we got a couple of doors. Let's uh, finish looting. Energy shield and components. Mm. All right. Um, which one's the one that holds the energy shield? No. Oh, the droids don't take the regular energy shields. Okay. Doggone it. So that footlocker is empty. He is empty. Doesn't look like there's anything else here, so we got a sealed door. Are they all gonna. Uh, low security door. And a low security door. Let's, uh. Let's start with the sealed door. Someone has purposely welded this door shut. You'll need to op blast it open with explosives. Can I bash it? Apparently not. Okay. Then let's uh, try to get this door open. Hmm. Hey. That's a good looking ship. There we go. Journal entry added. Alright, T3 has found the Evan Hawk in Hangar Bay 25. Now it's just a matter of finding a way to get a non-junior down to the Hangar Bay. Which is part of that. And I gotta find out what's going on too. Or what's been going on since the Mandalorian Wars. Alright, so there's the Hangar Bay door. Before I go opening that, let's see what else is around here. Because I want to make sure that there's no like storage lockers that you'll only get now. Ooh, fuel Depot. That might be useful. Oh yes, that's right. The door can be opened with an explosion, right? So that means we could probably put some fuel and make an explosion. Alright, repair kits. Always nice. Let's uh, open this guy here. Alright, repair kits. Always nice. Let's go ahead and save the game real quick. Save. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can go five more minutes. 
Hangar control, system diagnostic, systems damaged. Several parts have been removed from the console and a laser drill has been used on a number of subsystems. Despite the sabotage, the basic functionality... Okay. Let's, uh, how many repair parts do we have? None. Alright. So I need to go find some repair parts. And, uh, let's head on over to the fuel depot. See what we can find. Nope. Magnetic sealed and no amount of security or explosives will open it. So we get to override the fuel depot. I bet the hangar bay door is going to say the same. Yep. Okay. How did I guess? So that that's part of our quest for later. And this is the sealed door that we're going to have to blow open. So by process of elimination, this is our next step. Um, yeah, let's throw a shock his way, and then, uh, attack. Attack more! Get me quicker! Oh, come on. The, you, you seriously can't loot him for parts? There we go. Minor sonic detonator. Let's, uh, go and make use of that shock arm. Nah. Alright, let's just keep up some straight attacks. I forgot that there's a durability on those arms, and I don't want to run out. At least until we've secured another one, so I'll kind of hang on to that. Oh, it is very effective against these guys. Anything? There we go. That's a storage. What have we got in there? Ooh, credits. Credits are always nice. I have never heard somebody say, I have too many credits. We'll go with that. And that appears to be all we got there. So let's open up this door. Oh, this is another way to the fuel depot. Nice. And we'll nab some components out of you. All right, there's our lift. Well, that doesn't look ominous. Oh! We got, what, two of these guys? Alright, so let's take this guy. We got two of them. Let's toss one there. Zap him. And then hit this guy with all-out attacks. Oh, kill him quicker. Mistakes have been made. Alright. What do we got? We got another iron... Okay, good. So now we got an extra one, and we got a data pad to check out. Purge the fuel lines, and I found three sonic charges attached inside. I checked the work logs, and only droids have been in the area. I tried to contact security as soon as I found the explosives, but I can't seem to get a signal through. I've removed the remote detonators, and I'll keep the explosives on me until I can put them in a secure hold in the hangar. Wow. That didn't work out so well, did it? Somebody seems to be reprogramming these droids. Ooh. Armor. Also useful. And another ion blaster. Direct droid contains a special droid based item. Alright, yep. So, let's start here. Found the Ebon Hawk. Still trapped. I thought there was something new in here. Okay. 
so let's go in here. We've got that all set. So we've got a shock arm equipped. Oh, the shock arm has unlimited uses. Okay. The repulsor ha is 9 out of 10 uses and slows. 10 out of 10 stuns. Um. Hmm. Let's equip that. We've only got 10 uses, but why not? And let's equip some armor. That helps. Alright. So far, so good. Oh. Except for the time part. There's nothing in any of these guys, except we got the data pad now. Um, Alright, so that's the armor. The sonic stuff, the energy shield, the data pad, which we just read. Oh, good. It lets you read those right out the gate. All right. Won't we now stop flashing about new stuff? Sweet. Interesting. So somebody even tried blowing that up. Oh, that can't be good. Oh. Oh, and they got the shields now, too. All right. Um, let's go ahead, and that might actually be a good place to save. Yep. And uh, I've already gone way over. I'm getting too into this game. That's a good thing. Not for the time management, but that's good for the game. So uh, that's going to be the conclusion of that. And let me throw things over to the end credits. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live... You can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.